Hello everyone, this is Sumit Kumar. In this video, I am going to talk about Helix. It's a, such a scary word that most of the IIT JAM students are, feel very uncomfortable. So what I am going to do that, I am going to make Helix very easy. Take it so, so that you will you'll be happy and at the end, if certain question will come from that section, you are going to do easily. Okay. And one more thing, if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it, okay? Now, let's come to this question and let's try to understand okay, what is this question is all about. So, this section is from Factor Calculus and this question asked in IIT Jam 2017. Look, I have already solved plenty of question in IIT Jam 2018, right? Almost, I think, 60% question I have solved and... Uh, I think more than 200 students have requested me to solve this question because they are not able to do that and due to this kind of some fancy word they usually get scared so let's see how I'm going to do that okay so let's understand the question first so this question is asked in IIT Jam 2017 so question here is very simple so what is the question question is look T V the smallest positive real number T kya hai chota positive real number hai Kaisa positive real number hai? Such that tangent to the helix hai na? So what is the helix? This is the curve This Cos T i plus sin T j plus T by root 2 k So tangent to the helix This at t equal to capital T Is orthogonal To tangent at t equal to 0 Thik hai? So capital T was the smallest positive real number Capital T was the smallest positive real number For which if you look the tangent at t equal to small t equal to capital T and small t at equal to 0 they are orthogonal two tangents are orthogonal okay orthogonal means dono ke beech ki angles hogi 90 degree hogi well then the line integral of f this function along the section of the helix from t equal to 0 to t equal to capital T is kya aega? so this is a numerical answer type net question this was and uh, it's simple line integral they have asked but for that you have to find capital T first so let's see how one should find how one should approach correct so take the question so I always start how to approach this kind of problem right how to think that's important even though you are not able to solve but your ideas are correct that's better so how one should approach this kind of problem so let's see Let's go one by one what is given and then we will do that everything. <coughs> well, so, uh, so tangent, so here the curve, that curve you have given the vector, vector curve is nothing but your, so this is nothing but cos t, sin t, let me write this form, okay, this in vector form, where t is a real number. Right, right? This is a vector field. RT is this. So what is the tangent? If I have to find the tangent to this curve at any point small t, what I have to do? I have to just differentiate term by term. So tangent, let me write this. So dr by dt. Correct? Right, right? So this at any point. What is this? So this is nothing but cos t cut derivative minus sin t uh, and sin t cut derivative cos t and t ka derivative on the whole root t correct hai? where t belongs to real number fine I have to find the tangent at t equal to 0 and t equal to capital T correct hai? so let me define r1 vector at t equal to capital T so this is nothing but sin capital T cos of capital T 1 by root 2 let me define the vector r2 what is my vector r2 r2 is nothing but tangent at t equal to 0 so if i'll put t equal to 0 here this is 0 vector this is if i'll put t equal to 0 this is 1 and this is 1 by root 2 okay what you are asking if these two lines are tangent what you have given that these two vectors these are perpendicular what do you mean by two vectors are perpendicular that means their dot product is 0 correct hai? so their dot product is 0 that implies take the dot product this is 0 this is cos t this is 1 by 2 that's equal to 0 
Fine. So cos t is equal to minus 1 by 2 and t is the smallest one. Take a, t is the smallest positive real number for which cos t equal to minus half. So cos t equal to minus half means subset should the positive number is a cos t minus half which is second quadrant and what is this? t equal to 2 pi by 3. Correct? The smallest one. अगर ऐसा कुछ नहीं बोलता है कि t smallest नहीं बोलता है तो 2 by 3 plus multiple of 2 pi और फिर आप third quadrant में भी आ सकते थे that's nothing but pi में 2 pi by 3 add कर दिए 4 pi by 3 so ऐसे आपको जाना था correct है यहाँ तक so this so smallest one is this कि इसके दो solution आते हैं ना zero से two pi के बीच में एक two pi by 3 और एक four pi by 3 सबसे छोटा कौन सा है two pi by 3 fine so this is the smallest I have used here now let's come to the section you are asking लाइन इंटीग्रल सो इट्स सिंपल आप एक लाइन इंटीग्रल पूछ रहे हो दिस एफ डॉट डी करेक्ट है ना सो यू आर यू आर आस्किंग द लाइन इंटीग्रल दिस सो लाइन इंटीग्रल ऑफ एफ अलोंग द सेक्शन टी इक्वल टू जीरो सो एफ इज नथिंग बट एफ आपने क्या दे रखा अब इसको आप लिखो आराम से तो ये क्या आ जाएगा जीरो से टी वट इज ए टी आपको कहां से कहां तक निकालना लाइन इंटर जीरो से टी सो सो इस पैरामीट्रिक फॉर्म को रिमूव करो सो जीरो से टी व्हाट इज एफ एफ इज दस सो एक्स जे ध्यान दीजिएगा एक्स जे तो ये जे कोऑर्डिनेट जाएगा डी आर के साथ सो एक्स डी वाई ठीक है माइनस वाई आई कैप डी एक्स करेक्ट ना सो दिस इज सो दिस इज योर पैरामीट्रिक फॉर्म if you are not, not write it, just, just write this curve along this, gamma, correct? Now put the values of x and y, okay? Not simple this integration and if you remove this parametric form, 0 set t and t ka value kitna hai? 2 pi by 3. What is x? x is nothing but, x ka rule is nothing but cos t. So cos t, what is y? y sin t. साइन का डेरिवेटिव कॉस्टी माइनस वाई वाई इज व्हाट साइन टी एंड एक्स इज कॉस्टी कॉस्टी का डेरिवेटिव माइनस साइन टी एंड दिस डी फाइन सो दिस इज दिस मैं नाउ दिस इज अ सिंपल इंटीग्रल 0 से 2 pi by 3 cos square t plus sin square t 1 t t so answer is 2 pi by 3 now find that value so this is the answer okay? so this will come around 2 point something something 0 0.6 or something like that that's, that's not a big issue that you can calculate calculator would be there so just you have to plug these values you will get the value but leave that that, that, that is not important I am not here to give the decimal places, right? I am here to give you the concept how one should approach this kind of problem, right? So most of the students are very scared of this kind of language and all such nonsense. See, don't be scared, okay? You are scared because your concept is not good. You are scared because you think, oh my God, what is this? How to approach? Don't worry about it. It's a very easy question. You need just a small, small ideas to connect these dots, right? the gaps you have between your knowledge so there are small small gaps you have to fill up those gaps and while filling those gaps i'm ready to help you from my side whatever possible way so it's your duty you you want to fill up those gaps or not i'm always there for you so it's your chance you want that or not so this question needs those two small gaps usko fill karna so, वो आपके हाथ में है। आप करोगे, देखो क्वेश्चन कितना आसानी से बन सकते हैं। तो ऐसे ही सब क्वेश्चंस का अप्रोच करना है। ऑलमोस्ट वेक्टर कैलकुलस के क्वेश्चन इस टाइप के यहाँ बहुत ही आसान क्वेश्चन होते हैं। आप डर जाते हो चीजों को लेके, बिकॉज़ आप कहीं लिंक कर देते हो उसको ज्योमेट्रिक but no one is going to stop me while learning mathematics, है ना? आपको कोई रोक नहीं सकता है गणित सीखने से, कोई भी नहीं। आप खुद भी अपने आप को नहीं रोक पाओगे। If you are interested in mathematics, so I just need interested students. If you are interested, I am ready to help you, ठीक है ना? If your target is to get somewhere premier institutes in India, definitely I am going to do that, ठीक है ना? 
so think about it and come let's come and learn mathematics okay hope we will meet very soon and we will learn lot of maths okay so thank you for watching my videos it really means a lot and thank you so much